Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. We are back again for another episode and today it is episode number 242 and in today's episode we're going to be of course carrying on the weekend league which we are 11 and 4, maybe 11 and 5 in. It's not going great but obviously we're only going to stop at like goal 3, goal 2 and I can tell you now we stop at goal 3. So we're going to be finishing these games off today. We've also got ourselves some objective packs which are from the milestones of the Europe and the Asia objectives. We're going to do them up all the packs and then we've got 10 player picks at the end of the episode and we do in fact pack ourselves a cheeky little new promo card which is a path to the glory to the final whatever they're called i can't actually remember what they're called now uh, but we started the game pretty well so we have one all up and we're just sort of going to let the gameplay roll today uh, and we're going to have a nice little chat so I'm going to start off with Christian Eriksen, the situation with him. Uh, obviously, I didn't speak about it in yesterday's episode. It was a little bit of a weird one, but we can speak about it today. So basically, if you didn't know, I mean, it's been all over the news, Twitter and everything. Uh, and obviously, if you were watching the World Cup when it happened, then you'll have seen it. But basically... Uh, Ericsson suffered a cardiac arrest during the game uh, and he literally his life could have been over pretty much in it but within a few seconds obviously the ref blew his whistle the players went up the players obviously uh, noticed that he was down and things like that and obviously because he stumbled like when he got the ball passed to him and then obviously he collapsed to the floor so obviously the quick actions of the ref and things like that obviously saved his life which is absolutely brilliant so obviously hats off to the medical team and things like that um, but yeah so it's a bit of a weird one obviously it's so strange for it to happen and I, I was honestly like so shocked when it did actually happen uh, it was just such a weird thing like honestly I, I've never seen anything like that in my life uh, but anyway so yeah that happened obviously hope he gets well soon and things like that uh, I don't I don't imagine he'll carry on playing football after that, to be honest with you. Like, I wouldn't. If I suffered a cardiac arrest, I'd just want to like, take life easy. I mean, he should be set for life now, let's be realistic. He's, he played for Inter, played for Tottenham. They're going to be on decent wages, you know. And especially for Denmark as well, he should get a, quite a decent packet for obviously going away with them every tournament. But yeah, so uh, that happened. And then another thing that I want to speak about is me, me and this ultimate team, this Road to Glory. I don't know what, where I want to take this because obviously we've done obviously 242 episodes. We know this, we've done it for the whole year, but now FIFA is starting to like come to an end. Uh, and I'll be honest, this weekend just sort of like highlighted to me that I really don't need to or don't want to now play this game, play this weekend league anymore for this year. And that's, I mean... It's, it's weird, it's hard for me to say that because I've played basically every, well, I've played every single weekend uh, and it, it's, it's been fun, but now I think it's time to call it a day, hang the boots up for this year and obviously then go again next year, so I'm going to be taking a few days break uh, after this video goes up on Monday, uh, I will be obviously back for Thursday for rewards and then we'll just sort of see where we take it, uh, I might upload a video on Friday because obviously there'll be some new content and things like that so I can get it out as well, but Apart from that, I don't know if I'll be playing next weekend. I mean, I don't know what the rewards are. I don't know if it's going to be tops rewards again, um, or if it's going to be. You know, it'd be sick if it were the Path to Glory cards. If they were in uh, Foot Champs rewards, that'd be sick. But it's not going to happen. I don't think so. You know, we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, I think this is probably my last weekend. If I'm being honest with you, I just I didn't feel like. I enjoyed it as much as like I have done previously. Like, I've been really enjoying it up to the you know up to this sort of week where you know I've been pushing for elite and things like that. Now I've done that for all my tots. There's nothing else to really play for. Like let's be realistic. Look at my team. I've got a ridiculous squad. We don't need to really improve it. I mean Luke Shaw obviously is a little bit of a letdown, but it is Luke Shaw. So we we let him off. And that the bench and things like that. It's just it doesn't need upgrading. I mean yeah, these new Path to Glory cards are nice, but. I can't afford half of them, like Havertz is a couple of million coins, Vinicius Jr is a couple of million coins, the SBCs are quite nice, but again, not, they don't really fit the team, I mean, the new Jimenez card, he looks quite good, but again, doesn't fit my team, and again, Joe Gomez and Walker are better centre-backs anyway, uh, due to obviously like the agility and things like that, I mean, obviously... Uh, Gomez doesn't have that, but he's just got the pace and things like that, I mean, I know Jimenez has got 90 pace as well, but I just think Gomez will be more OP. Uh, so yeah that is sort of where I stand with with this game at the moment I mean the content's been great 
but I, I, I feel like I'm just burnt out, to be honest with you. Like, obviously, I've, I've played this game so much this year. Uh, to be fair, I, did, I haven't played it as much as I have previous years. Like, the FIFA 19 um, game was... Well, I played, like, 2,500 games on that. That was just ridiculous. Uh, so, obviously, I've obviously stepped down a little bit more from that, but I probably played maybe maybe just shy of... I don't, I don't actually know. If we've got, like... I don't know wins. If you've got like 1,300 wins, I've probably played about 18, 1,900 games this year, which is just ridiculous. And it kind of finally taking its toll, uh, if I'm being honest. So we are gonna probably call it a day, like I've been saying. Uh, but obviously, we'll, we'll think of do, is doing something else. Obviously, we'll still bring FIFA content. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll do certain things on it. I mean, I won't just do everyday videos of the road to glory we'll just do different things we'll probably bring like a weekly update of the road to glory but i won't really touch this account now really uh obviously i'll just do some fun stuff like player picks and things like that and they'll get shown but apart from that that's pretty much it so we'll probably maybe you know branch off into a bit of cod uh if you want to see that maybe a bit of i don't know what else like what other games are actually decent at the minute i mean minecraft's just old in it these days uh, i know a lot of people play it that in this sort of off season or down season of fifa like the penfes uh, do play minecraft and things like that but warzone seems to be the shout to be honest because obviously you can get your mates on and it's a bit of fun pro clubs as well maybe uh, i'm in two, I'm, I'm sort of in two different teams for pro clubs like i kind of keep switching between the two um and that's kind of quite fun but obviously you'd probably want to see more just the one team rather than me switching like to two different teams and it'll be difficult obviously to like get the editing and stuff because like they don't use uh recording stuff to record the things so it'll be a bit a bit interesting and we'll sort of try to work something out uh, but that is sort of what i'm thinking of doing uh in the future uh and obviously calling this a day but we are now moving into the final game of the episode then or, or is it i mean we have 13 uh wins on the board and this should be the final one i mean the team doesn't look great he's got ballack in center mid the baby ballot which is really interesting he's got himself a red um de maria as well but He's not great in the game, we always know this, we you know, we've, we've played with him and he's literally sat in our reserves. That's literally how mad our team is, we've got Di Maria and people are like, even end of an era Aguero, I literally just sat in my club collecting dust. I literally used Aguero for about 20 games and half it were off the bench. It was a million coin SPC and I thought they used him. Uh, but anyway, we have fallen a lot now and he's going to be quitting in the final game, so that sort of seals that off. And we're now obviously going to move on into the objective packs and then we've got ourselves the 10 player picks. I'm pretty sure it's 10 player picks, it could be 11, I'm not too sure. But yeah, so Cold 3 has been secured for Thursday. Also got myself rank 1 because I've been doing the Christian Eriksen objective just because I felt, you know what, it's right to do him because of, of what he's obviously gone through in the past couple of days. So... Uh, for these objectives, you had to score like between 10 to 20 goals uh, with different nations, and it was very easy to do. Half it was semi pro score battles, so you know, you could still like score 30 35 goals a game, and then obviously the other ones you could do it like 50 60 goals a game because you can whack it on beginner. Uh, and if you if you don't want to play score battles, you can literally just play it against your mate, just keep scoring on goals, and that should work fine as well. Uh, so you know, we've got ourselves a mega pack, and I believe it's a 50k pack for the final one, uh, and we're just going to sort of show the how of that so we're going to move on to a prime election first and it is actually a walkout to start with uh, and what is going to be it's a ucl so unfortunately it won't be anything decent it's actually going to be a drisa kind of gear from psg so 84 rated the worst rated uh walkout champions league card you can get i mean it could have been at least 86 rated come on here when i saw that walkout i thought yes it's next it's plus but no it gave me a champions league card so and that is the first walkout that we got. Then we move on into another Prime Electrum. Uh, we've got quite a few of these. And this is, again, of going to be a walkout. This time it's a normal goal. So it's going to be at least an 86 rated. It's going to be Belgium. Don't be calm. It's going to be goalkeeper from Real Madrid, which is going to be Courtois. Now, the good news is it's not De Bruyne. Uh, we've already got De Bruyne untradeable. So I, had, I would have had to discard him and recover him, which I've already got a cane in the duplicate uh, unassigned thing. So... I need to recover him. We need to do an, uh, an SBC quite soon. Otherwise, I'm going to lose out on a 96 rated card. So, we move now down into the last three packs. And I'll be honest, uh, this one's a walkout. Is it going to be, again, it's a Champions League, so it could just be an 84. It's going to be uh, that man, Hakim Ziyech. When you see that flag, the Moroccan flag, you know it's going to be Ziyech pretty much 
every time uh, so there you go 85 rated it's a little bit better than 84 so we'll take it it's half decent fodder um, and then the rest of the pack wasn't fantastic either so just discard them two two packs to go then we got the 50k pack and the 35k pack hoping for maybe see one more walkout if not just two boards would be decent Start off with the Mega, this one's not even a board, it's going to be a Libertadores. Is there anything behind it? No, it's a Yuri Tilly Immense. So now we're going to move on to the final one then, the 50k pack. Come on, is it going to give me anything good? Let's find out. It's going to be a war. Count. No, it's, it's going to be a board though, so that's alright. As long as it's an 84 85, it's going to be Belgium again, centre back from Spurs, which is going to be Toby Alderweireld. I actually packed this guy like last week, I'm pretty sure, and that's the first time I've packed him. So, you know, to pack him twice in a week is actually quite mad. So, we'll take that, and then the rest of it, you know, just goes into the club. So, now we'll move on into some player picks. We've got 10 player picks. Come on, these seem to be quite juiced. The first one is an Andy Robertson. Not a bad start. The second one. Are you ready for it? It's a, it's the, it's a card. And we get delict. We actually got one. Uh, that's kind of mad. He's worth like three four hundred k And hopefully Netherlands get a few wins. If they get a few wins, then he should get upgraded. Obviously, he goes plus one for every, every win. Six games. I mean, his group's pretty terrible. So he should get at least three wins from his group. And that puts him up to a 97 rated centre-back. That could be ridiculous. That actually could be insane. Um, but the only thing is, it doesn't fit the team. I mean... I need, to pack, I need to basically I need to just get myself a Cristiano Ronaldo in my team, and then if we could do that, then we're chilling. If not, actually, we could get Cordrado. Do you know? I've sorted it. I'm a genius, right? What we do? Because we've got SCN, we'll just put um, Delict Hurt centre back, and then we'll put in Cordrado right back because we've got a red, his red version uh, still, and that that that'd be sick. That'd actually be so so good. Uh, so I'll probably do that. You know, maybe maybe test out for a few games. But that is pretty much that. The full set was there. I mean, we didn't do too bad. The two first picks were the best, pretty much. And that pretty much wraps up the end of the episode then. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow. Peace.